The home of the mother of all mankind, mother of the youth, is an international association of the faithful, canonically erected by the Pontifical Council for the Laity on June 3, 2010. This humble plant in the Church began as a Catholic youth group in 1982, accompanied by the pontificate and magisterium of His Holiness Pope John Paul II. With time, the association took form under several different branches, the Home of the Mother of the Youth, Servant Sisters of the Home of the Mother, Servant Priests and Brothers of the Home of the Mother, and the Lay Members of the Home of the Mother. The instrument that the Lord used in forming the home of the mother was an unforgettable and extraordinary woman named Elizabeth van Kierbergen, better known as Mami. She was that grain of wheat which, planted in the ground, dies so as to bear much fruit. Mami's generous life of dedication and profound interior life helped shape the spirituality of the home. The Lord also called her to a special mission, that of being the spiritual mother of 99 priests one of whom was Father Rafael Alonso Raimundo, founder of the Home of the Mother, diocesan priest of Toledo, Spain. The home is the gift our Lord wishes to make to His Mother. It has three missions in the Church. The defense of the Eucharist, the defense of the honor of our Mother, especially in the privilege of her virginity and the conquest of the youth for Jesus Christ. The home is a family of Eucharistic adorers that live a Carmelite spirituality, seeking union with God in faithfulness to Him. The home of the mother of the youth is a group of Catholic youth that has begun in the church and is at her service. Its ideal is following Jesus Christ and carrying out the three missions of the home. The two branches of the Home of the Mother of the Youth were commenced at the tomb of the Apostle St. Peter in Rome in order to manifest that the work of the Home of the Mother must be based on obedience to the Pope. The feminine branch began on July 29, 1982, and the masculine branch on December 27, 1983. The Servant Sisters of the Home of the Mother began on September 22, 1984, responding to the call to live the charism in missions of the home through a total consecration of their lives. A decisive step came when the first three Servant Sisters took their first vows in Our Lady's House in Nazareth on September 8, 1989. They received ecclesiastical approval in the Diocese of Cuenca from Bishop José Guerra Campos in 1994. As of September 15, 2016, the legal see of the Public Association of Faithful is found in the Diocese of Alcalá de Henares. The Servant Sisters of the Home are currently present in several countries, including Spain, Italy, Ecuador, the United States, in Ireland. There are over 150 members of 11 different nationalities. The Servant Sisters of the Home live a spirituality of identification with Jesus Christ and transformation in Him from the womb of the Virgin Mary. They are not defined by what they do, but by who they are. They live in trust and abandonment to God and total availability, always willing to go wherever the Lord sends them through obedience. They live as members of a spiritual family, with Our Lady as their mother, seeking to live in her presence and that she may live among them. The Servant Sisters strive to live out these three characteristics, true joy, unity with their sisters, and selfless love for the Church. Community Life Fidelity to the Pope and the Church's Magisterium Loving devotion to the Virgin Mary, our Mother Eucharistic Life 
On April 16, 2016, an earthquake in Ecuador claimed the life of Sister Claire Crockett, making her the first sister to die. Five candidates also lost their lives in the earthquake. A cause for profound grief for the entire community was soon transformed into a source of overflowing graces. Her life and example have made their way around the globe. Countless testimonies reach us, telling of many graces received. Her example spurs us on to respond to the call to holiness and never lose hope in that call. The servant priests and brothers of the Home of the Mother began on September 8, 1990. They received ecclesiastical approval from Bishop Jose Guerra Campos of the Diocese of Cuenca in 1994. As of 2016, the legal see as public association of faithful is the Diocese of Alcalá de Henares. The first years of the foundation were years of intense joy, of unwavering hope and a profound trust the first priest of the home, Father Felix Lopez, was ordained a priest in 1993, followed by Father Juan Antonio Gomez in 1995. The two of them began the servant priests and brothers of the home, currently serving several dioceses in countries including Spain, Italy, Ireland, and Ecuador. They carry out missionary work and evangelization under the guidance of their bishops. Called to a consecration to God through the heart of Mary, the servant priests and brothers are not defined by what they do, but by who they are. They live a spirituality of identification with Jesus Christ and transformation in Him through the heart of Mary. They strive to live out these three characteristics, true joy, unity with their brothers, and selfless love for the church, community life, Fidelity to the Pope and the Church's Magisterium. Loving devotion to the Virgin Mary, our Mother. Eucharistic Life. Queridos hermanos, amar mucho a nuestra madre, amar mucho al Señor. No no sé quién el Señor va a, a tocar primero, pero yo te digo, yo no tengo miedo. Si me llama a mí ahora, yo estoy yo y me gustaría ir también. Yo tengo ganas de ir al cielo. Me espera, me espera. Están esperándome. Damos gracias a Dios por todo lo que Él hace por nosotros y nuestra madre también, nuestra puerta del cielo. Su corazón es esta puerta del cielo. Amén. The lay members of the Home of the Mother are a branch of adult members of the Association of the Home of the Mother. They began on December 25, 1995, at the service of the Church, with the goal of reaching holiness for the glory of God, under the maternal protection of Mary. Lay members of the home strive to live their threefold mission wherever the Lord calls them to live it, in their own state of life and work, living in the world but not of the world. They feel called to be apostles and carry out what God expects of them, thus collaborating with renewed strength in the transformation of society and in establishing the kingdom of God. The lay members of the home find their way of life rooted in the mystery of Christ and His gospel as it is preached and believed by the church. And keep in mind that above all lies the supreme law of love. Thus, Mary with her fiat is the living example for all members of the home as they embrace God's plans for the salvation of the world. Lay members of the home wish to reflect and transmit Mary's maternal love to all mankind. The center of their spirituality is Jesus Christ. In the Eucharist, every member of the home of the mother finds strength, light, and consolation. And in the Blessed Mother's heart, they find their peace and their home. Family Encounters Holy Week encounters, retreats, spiritual exercises, weekly meetings, camps, pilgrimages. <laughs>